So right now, I've cooked, boiled, and then simmered this split pea, split peas. I mixed half green and half yellow. And they simmered for about 45 minutes. And another 20. It's getting a bit creamy. Okay, so <clears throat> this is simmering or boiling, however you want to call it. I've been simmering it on two. And now it's starting to get fairly mushy, but now we're going to start adding all the other vegetables. I have cauliflower and broccoli. I microwaved it. Microwaved yellow zucchini squash. Microwave green zucchini squash. Microwave some more broccoli. Microwave some sweet potatoes, the yellow kind. And in the microwave, I have about five carrots cut up. I'm gonna microwave that for about eight minutes. So I just threw in a sweet potato. I just threw in some broccoli and cauliflower. And we're probably gonna run out of room in this pot. And now I dumped in the yellow zucchini squash. Probably gonna need to add more water into this mixture. We still have more broccoli. and green zucchini squash. So, this is definitely not gonna mix well, because there's no, not enough room. Get a bigger pot, throw the rest of the broccoli in. Wow. The bottom was definitely too dry, and the top was definitely too moist, even though I was mixing it, because the pot is too small. So we're gonna see what I can do about that. I'll boil up some water in the microwave and add it into this, and then keep stirring and mixing. So I started to mush some of this stuff together, like the cauliflower to break it apart a bit. And I realized, as I was gonna heat some water up in the microwave, that I still had something in the microwave. Hot, 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 hot. Wow. Oh, mama, mama. A whole bunch of carrots. That was about five carrots, fairly good sized carrots. I would estimate about a pound. And I had to do something else. So I boiled up the water that was in the pot. I also uh, put on three minutes uh, on high for 32 ounces of water. And I've got this simmering at two. And I've been doing this now for 90 minutes, an hour and a half. Well, this could take quite a while. I raised the temperature dial to five. What I could do is I have some rice, brown rice from a couple of days ago. If I throw it in here, I'll have a really thick mixture, but I'm not sure I want to do that. I know last time when I did this, and it was much thicker than this because I didn't add any extra water. The next day it thickened up even more and what I did then is put a little milk in 
tiny milk or a tiny bit of water. I tried it both ways and both ways were good. You just have to be careful not to do what I just did by mixing too much water in. A little water goes a long way. All right, it's now about a minute later, and this is not quite the right lid. But it's a close enough fit. And I want to get this to, to boil and bring it down to a simmer again. I can hear it boiling a bit or simmering. Yeah, you can see it simmering. So I'll probably want to bring that down. I just don't know if I want to keep the cover on or not it's like 1037 I want to eat these carrots are not cooked enough I cooked them about eight minutes. Last time everything was a big mush and it was a delicious mush. There was no salt, no pepper, no seasoning. Everybody loved it. My son, my wife, myself, and we only had one dog at the time, Charlie. Charlie loved it. I've been chopping and mixing this for about five minutes now. I took the lid off as it seemed like it was boiling again at a, at a uh, power level of two. And it looks like it's simmering, so I'll put the lid back on some more. And then at five, ten minutes, I'll just redo the process. Pull it off, mush it. Stab it, chop it. It's starting to look halfway decent. The carrots are disappearing, thank goodness. It's constant. Probably if I had a blender or some sort of mixing automatic whisk. I do have a blender. I have pea soup. I used to make black pea soup. And they told you about halfway through the process, take half of your soup, pour it into a blender, and blend it. This is the old kind of blender, not these super, super duper high uh, Vitamixes. And so you blended it, and then you poured it back in. And then you added either, well, you added sour cream to it and if you wanted to you could add a little bit of rum I've got that recipe it says if you got children you can leave out the rum maybe if you got children maybe you ought to put the rum in let them go to sleep okay oh crud I just realized I had more broccoli Save it for another time or do what we were planning to do. And it stuck to the bottom a bit. And you can see how thick this is. So I'm figuring that's about it. So I dish myself out a small bowl. And it stands up in a small bowl. Anyway, I'm not going to add anything to it. And that's probably all I'm going to take out of that mess. And because Carol made chicken salad with mayonnaise, onions, and canned chicken. So this will be enough. 